Hey gang, it's Schlocktoberfest once again, and it's the 2016 edition, and it's a review of the movie Insidious. Josh and Renee, I believe that's how her name was pronounced, move into a house with their kids named Dalton and Foster and little Callie. Well, sometime after they move in there, Dalton goes up into the attic where he sees some kind of weird figure and he falls from the attic, falls off the ladder, I should say. Poor kid has a drinking problem. And, yeah. After he sees some kind of shadowy figure and he goes into a coma. Well, the family decides to move to another house. The poor Dalton has not come out of his coma yet. So they call up a bunch of paranormal investigators, or in this case, I think they were called, uh... Demonologists, yeah. Uh, one of them, named... Named Elise, senses there's something bad in the house. Well, Josh is kind of skeptical about the whole thing, but... Well... Josh's mom admits that... Uh, I think it was Josh's mom, I'm not sure. Uh, admits that she saw a vision of... I believe it was Dalton walking around or some stuff. Anyway... Um, Renee sticks around to try and make sure that maybe this uh, maybe this situation is going to be taken out of control. She tells the family that Dalton is not really in a coma. He is stuck in the astral plane. I hope you bought good tickets. Moving on. I really got to fire those bad writers. Uh, and through Dalton, demons are kind of entering our world. So, so Josh goes into the astral plane to try and find Dalton because at one time uh, Josh had a similar experience when he was eight years old. Well, Elise is able to fight the demon, and Josh rescues Dalton and tells this uh, hideous old woman ghost thing leave him alone, and she apparently disappears. Everything seems to be okay until Elise is getting ready to pack up her things and go. When she notices something's wrong, she senses it. So she goes to take a picture of Josh and realizes that the picture and the camera, there's something a little odd about it, and she realizes that uh, the old woman that disappeared in the astral plane world has possessed Josh, and Josh kills her. Uh, Renee goes up to see Elise's dead body, notices the picture inside the camera. Josh grabs her, she turns around, gasps, and that's where part one ends. So why did this movie suck? Honestly, this is a movie I've been wanting to really review for a long, long time, but I wanted to wait for a special occasion to do it, and I thought, why not do it for this uh, month for you guys? Uh, the movie got a lot of great reviews. Personally, I found it boring and predictable. I pretty much saw the, uh, the jump scares coming a mile away. Uh, the ending was predictable. Uh... The movie to me was just overall way too predict predictable, yes. Uh, I just didn't care for it that much. I didn't see what all the hype was about. And again, uh, this is a movie that uh, my beautiful wife Sarah and I got from Redbox sometime after it came out. And I'll tell you the truth, I was bored through it. Uh, I didn't think it was all that great. Uh, maybe it's a possibility. Well, well, honestly, it's it's really for the reason that I'm just not a big fan of, uh, of haunted house movies or, well, in this case, it wasn't a haunted house movie. It was more of a, you know, so, sort of a ghost movie, demon movie. 
And some of them can be done pretty well, but some can be done pretty badly. But in this case, I just sat there the whole time going, just, just almost predicting what was going to happen. I didn't do it out loud because I didn't want to, I didn't want to spoil it for Sarah, but I'll tell you guys in all honesty, I just, I really didn't care for this movie that much. And, um, and if you guys disagree, that's totally cool, but it just wasn't something I really enjoyed. But there you guys have it, a review of Insidious. And Schlocktoberfest will keep on going till Halloween. I hope you guys will keep tuning in every day. And don't forget, this Tuesday, top 10 worst video games turn movies picked by you guys. So I hope you guys will tune in, check that out, and don't forget to keep voting for your picks of the 13 ones that's still left. So until then, thanks for watching. God bless you all. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.